How does one pray to Hecate? Hello witches, I'm answering questions I've gotten on videos about Hecate. So if you're on or you can check out the playlist that this is part of to see other Q&A. So how do you pray to Hecate? Any way you want to. End video. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm so funny. I know that the reason for this question is that we've got all these societal tropes about what prayer should be thanks to Christianity. Even the ideas about paganism or the completely farcical Satan worship in pop culture are shaped by Christianity. Fun fact, the FBI never found a single substantiated instance of Satanist abusing children in the years after the Satanic Panic in the 80s. They did find child SAers using satanic worship to scare the children, but that is completely different. I talk in another video about how I see and hear Hecate, including the importance of cultivating that ability. That's one half of the equation when we talk about praying to her. The other half is how we actually speak to her. I've said before to imagine you're talking to your grandmother's best friend when you talk to Hecate, but beyond that, how you decide to talk to her is ultimately up to you. Do you have to get on your knees to pray to her? No. You can if you want, to, but she'll eventually tell you to get up, stop it, because she's not interested in being groveled to. She wants you to be sovereign over yourself. Do you have to say certain words to evoke her? Again, no, but you can. There are classes and books out there that give you incantations, and you can use those if you want. I find for big workings, where I want to raise a lot of energy, those are good places to start. I like Jason Miller's Sorcery of Hecate class for specific, extremely detailed guidance, but it is expensive, so keep that in mind. At a lower price point, I like Hecate by Courtney Weber and Keeping Her Keys by Cindy Brannon. Both those books have spells and exercises that guide you through reaching out to Hecate. You can also write your own evocation. If you're struggling to connect with her and you don't feel like using someone else's words, this is one idea. After you write it and as you do it over and over, it establishes an energetic bridge that grows stronger with time and it signals to your brain to get into the headspace you've set aside to pray and hear from her. Make the evocation rhythmic, make it rhyme, and it helps to establish trance as well. Still, you don't need to do any of that. What makes something a prayer is that you're directing it at a deity. I pray to her throughout the day. I thank her for manifesting things we've been working on or for keeping me safe on a drive. Sometimes if I'm having a rough day, I talk to her about it or I ask for guidance with whatever things my kids are doing. <laughs> right now, she's my most prominent spirit guide. Think about the ways you talk with your spirit guides and do those with her. Now that I've gotten to know her, I snark about things and I swear. And she responds to me, but she's way more graceful and poised than I am. <laughs> Prayer is our way to make a bridge between ourselves and the gods, so do it in a way that feels comfortable to you. If you have questions about witchcraft or Hecate, please put them in the comments. I don't know everything, but I'm happy to help and share what I do know.